Okay. So welcome to Project C19. You see the project here. We are in my main menu. Vast open space. I've got my hands here, which I created a custom material for. Fades in and out. Got pretty good. As you can see I have two main levels in this game. I've got a training grounds. This is the mask gun, which is equipped with a HUD readout, as well as uh, not being able to shoot if you don't have any ammo. This is the magazine, which slides into the pocket, and as you can see now, we have, um, we have 20 bullets. Here, if I pick up this one. Back at 20. And now that I have 20, I can shoot. So, first, let's take a hop into the training level. You shoot one of these targets here, slowly fade in. All right. Welcome to the training ground. My big training warehouse um, that I spent all of these semesters modeling for. Here in the wall, we can see time trial course. Our objective is to clear all the targets in the course, and of course, time will be recorded. We got to meet the standard for the CDCMU, which is narrative for the game that we are a volunteer in the Center of Disease Control Mitigation Unit for helping um, reduce the spread of infection. Um, I've been kind of Walking past it, as you can see, it's kind of all dressed here with different items. You've got wood pallets, you got concrete barriers, you got crates here. Just to familiar yourself again with the targets. Pick up our gun here. And back. I can shoot our targets. These will be here. They reset. You can shoot them. Many times as you also have a closer look at our mask here. Curious on what that looks like. Do I'm gonna load, take a spare one to go, and we on and head in to of course. As you can see, this green screen is the barrier line starting the course. As you can see now, as soon as I run in. You see, I've got some UI on my wrist that tells me my time, tells how many targets I've hit. I hit one, and it updates. I will go through here. Got different ammo on the ground in various places. And I'm just going to go through get some of these targets. Each Area slash room themed, kind of our office room. Head in here. All right. We head on past the shipping containers. Come through the window. Got one in the shipping container. Another one in the shop. Now we'll put in this reload. So I reloaded right there. Another one. Go ahead and grab this to go in case you need it. That one. Guys, on this corner. We'll check here as you can see. I have 20. Close here. Oh. There he is. Okay, 33 out of 34. Getting close. Last target. Time. 
a minute and 57 seconds with I'm missing too many shots see here and hopefully here they shoot and we'll see that they can redirect the, themselves back to the start of the course or they can reset it if they want to take a trip up here we're kind of going around outside of the course and so we can go up these stairs to the balcony area where we can drop back down to the start as well as kind of pretty great view here of the entire map I'm really happy with how this came out i'm really happy with all my modeling and all the texturing I've together and overall in general um i just think it came out really well over here walk along our little catwalk and we can drop back down to the center here. Also notice that our safe area, here we are. So as you can see here, our time on the top has stopped. So is our stopwatch green there for us our now if I wanted to go ahead and reset the course as you can see as well, the uh, target there has the hit material. I just go ahead and push in my button. The our score at the top there reset. My Y went away. Well, as the targets reset, but so you can reset, run through again, test your time again. Uh, before leaving the training, also a good time to point out my pause menu here. Uh, currently, I just have settings for the turn, so you can choose between just turning, snap turning. As well as an option just to leave the game. Again, I can toggle this on and off. It'll also change where I am based off of where I look. So that's pretty nice. With that, let's go ahead and leave the training. Go back to the main menu. Here we fade in. Back at our main menu. The second scene is more of a proof of concept of uh, the primary storyline, the primary play of this game, I mean, open world maps, AI running around, then have to uh, neutralize and make sure everyone you stop the spread. Um, here in the simulation scene, I've put together more of a block out of proof of concept of a big wide open area. We'll go ahead and take a look at that now. Again, we just had to shoot our dummy there to load in. See, this is the big environment. We have a whole bunch of players running around here. Go. And still, as you can see here, we have 40 enemies, AIs running around. Out of them, you've already seen the quickly how quickly the um, infection has spread. So 22 out of the 40 have been infected. Um, but at this time, we still have all 40 players. So no one has died, as you can see. They can run hit a player and it will hit them with the mask in this game if you're infected you slowly lose health over time but if you're wearing a mask you're slowly increasing in health over time 